Thursday, October 16th, dozens of students came out and packed into the Honkin Gallery for Pizza with the President, hosted by the Student Government Association. Well, we represent the student voice and are the liaison between students and faculty. So if other organizations should do it, I think it's an amazing opportunity. Uh, we are going to continue doing things like this because that's what we're supposed to do. That we want to help educate students and represent their voice and be the liaison between um, faculty and staff and students. So I think it was a great uh, turnout. People, you get to eat pizza and learn about how to be successful at Columbia. I think that's a great combination. Although the evening was revolved around student fellowship and pizza, President Kim had a few important points on success he wanted to drive home to the student body. I really started realizing the reason they hired me was they were so messed up and so ready to close that this was like a Hail Mary pass. They figured, give the kid the job, he'll probably fail in a year, and then we can close. <laughs> yeah. So, I didn't know anything about fundraising, I didn't know anything about organizational finance, I didn't know anything about working with a board. All I had was instinct. Luckily, and luckily people were willing to help, but my point is, that was a really, really bad place to be. In the world, knowing that I was really good at something, and having no clue how to connect what I knew how to do with the people around me. So if at all possible, I don't want anyone who graduates from this institution to go through that. There's always going to be some of that, by the way. No matter what you learn, there's always the need to figure it out. But my point is, I literally had zero, zero skill. Zero practical skill. You know? And I knew that, of course, having an attitude on top of not knowing what I was doing wasn't going to cut it. So somehow life kind of worked with me. So this whole idea of practical skill is important. Now here's another piece of this. Keep in mind I said the phone rang and this person called me, all right? Well, she didn't call me because she found my, my name and number in the phone book. She called me because I had been there and had worked with her. I would guess that for Columbia students it's a lot less true than it was for me because you know I was in a classical music conservatory which is such a rigid kind of model. So I don't think that our students, I hope, our students aren't necessarily shocked, but I just want to even lessen that possibility. How do you take that craft and translate it into a way to make a living, you know? And no one's going to do it for you, that's the thing.